All right, we're going to start talking about password setting objects. We've got our management server here connected to our demo domain. We're going to go into group policy, and as a reminder, for default password policies, go into the default domain policy, GPO, policy, Windows, security, and account policy, password policy. I've got the default settings configured here. Um, I'm not going to change too much. A password, minimum password length is seven characters. And then just as a demonstration quick, um, a lot of people assume you can set password policies via GPO for other groups of users. So in this domain, I've got people. Let me pull up Active Directory here. I've got people and you got your default users and then I have admin separated in a separate OU. So a lot of people assume if I want my admins to have a more complicated password all I have to do is create a GPO. We'll edit it and go back into that password configuration policy And I'm going to leave the default settings, so they're already set at like password complexity and the regular settings you need for passwords. But I'm going to adjust the length for this to be 10 characters long. Go ahead and apply. And this is already linked at that admins OU. So by doing that, I would assume if this worked that I would not be able to set a password lower than 10 characters to these. And then just to be to demonstrate that the password policy is in place, if I go ahead and do a reset password here, remember the default password policy for these users is set to right now to seven characters. So I should not be able to set something shorter than seven. And just to show what I'm setting, so it's not a complexity pass issue or anything. Uh, P A S S two characters. So I need a number. Let's do two numbers. That's uppercase, lowercase, symbol, and letters. But this is only six characters long, so this should fail the password policy. So set that. Hit OK. And I get my message saying it doesn't meet the minimum password policy requirements. Obviously, complexity is there, so it's just an issue here with um, the length of the password. Now, if I set this again to... That's eight characters. I'll just throw a number on there as well. If I were to reset the password like that, this should be just fine. Yep. So this is the people OU. If I look at group policy, it's inheriting the default domain policy where the default password policy is set. But I've got that custom one on the admins OU requiring the 10 character password policy. So I would assume then I would not be able to set a password shorter than 10 characters. If I look at this one, I've got four, eight, nine characters there. So if I copy that and try to set his password, it should block me because of my group policy that's setting my minimum password length to 10 characters. However, if I go ahead and apply it, it looks like it works, which is telling us you can't use a group policy to set your password policy outside the default domain policy. It's only ever going to apply once, and that's going to apply to the whole domain. If you want to set fine-grained password policies or password policies for a select number of users outside the default, you have to use what are called password settings objects. In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. We have to open our Active Directory administrate Administrative Center instead of the a, old ADUC console to ADAC. And we're going to open this up, and if I go to search here and type for type in password settings, you see the password settings container, and this is where we create what are called password settings object, or you'll also see them referred to as fine-grained password policies. If I right-click in this password settings container, go to password settings you'll see all of these settings are exactly the same thing you can set with GPO, but it's using these objects around Active Directory which allow you to assign this not to an OU, but to groups of users. So if you have a group that identifies administrative users, which we do, uh, I believe it's server admins. Yep. So I have my server admins group that has those admin accounts in it. I can say 
this password policy I'm going to apply to this group. And we'll go ahead and say um, admins 10 character. And then minimum password length is going to be 10. I'm also going to change this to 0, so if I need to, I can reset the password just as a demo thing. Uh, don't enforce minimum password age. And that should be good. And now if I hit OK. Oh, precedence. Set precedence to one. This only matters if you have multiple policies. I could be wrong, but I believe the lower the precedence, yeah, password settings with the lower precedence number overwrite the ones with the higher number. So if I have two policies that conflict applied to the same group, whatever one is precedence one is going to take place over the precedence two policy. That's just to, in case of conflict, which probably shouldn't happen. So now that's in place. If I go back here and try to set this guy's password again, I'm going to go ahead and do password 4. I cannot complete the password change because it doesn't meet the minimum password requirements. So that's showing that this password settings container requiring 10 characters is now taking place into to this user who is a member of that server admins group we applied it to. So if you're trying to manage multiple password settings, you need to use what are called password settings objects in the password settings container in the ADAC console instead of the ADUC console.